Hey there, I'm James, you're watching Accounting Stuff, and in this mini-series, I'll show you how to make financial statements with an example. Financial statements are accounting reports that summarize a business's activities over a period of time. There are three main ones that you should know about. They're called the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. In this video, I'll show you how to make an income statement. We'll cover the other two next on this channel, so if you'd like to watch those, then consider subscribing. The income statement is a financial report that summarizes a business's revenues and expenses over a period of time. It works like this. If you take a business's revenue and subtract its expenses, then you're left with a profit or a loss. That's why it's sometimes called the profit and loss statement or the P&L but we'll call this one the basic income statement. It's nice and simple, but it doesn't give us much information. We need to expand it out to see the full detailed income statement. At the top, we have operating revenue, which is the income earned from doing business. And then we take away any direct operating costs. These are the cost of sales. And that leaves us with a gross profit or a loss. Beneath that, we subtract any indirect operating costs or overheads to reach an operating profit or loss. And finally, we take away the indirect non-operating costs, things like interest expenses and tax, which brings us down to the bottom line, the business's net profit or loss. If you'd like to learn more about these terms, then you can check out my other income statement video. And I also summarize it all on my income statement cheat sheet, and I'll leave links to both of those down in the description. How do you make a basic income statement? The first thing you'll need is a trial balance. A trial balance is an accounting report showing the closing balances in all general ledger accounts at a point in time. Here's one for a dating app called Tumble. It's an adjusted trial balance, which means that all of Tumble's adjusting entries have already been posted and it was run on December 31st, which happens to be the end of Tumble's financial year. This trial balance holds a complete list of Tumble's accounts and closing balances. Debit balances go in the left column and credit balances go in the right column. But how does this help us make an income statement? Well, we can start by drawing a line because accounts in a trial balance are usually arranged in order. Above this line, we have Tumble's assets, liabilities and equity, these are all balance sheet accounts, which we can ignore. We're interested in this stuff below the line, Tumble's revenue and expenses, which are their income statement accounts. The basic income statement is Tumble's revenue minus its expenses. In this case, they earned $60 million in revenue and incurred $50,350,000 in expenses. That leaves them with $9,650,000 in profit, baby. But how do we make a detailed income statement? The method is pretty much the same. If we go back to Tumble's adjusted trial balance, then all we need to do is categorize their expenses like we did before. Cost of sales is a direct operating cost. General, administrative, selling, marketing, depreciation, and amortization are all indirect operating costs. And finally, interest and tax expenses are indirect non-operating costs. But please, please be careful with depreciation and amortization. If the long-term assets that they relate to aren't used in operations, then these would also be indirect non-operating costs. In this video, I'm assuming that they are used in operations. Right, that's the hard bit out of the way. All we need to do now is lift these numbers out of the adjusted trial balance and put them in the corresponding sections of the income statement. That leaves us with a revenue of $60 million, just like before, less $17.5 million in cost of sales, which is a direct operating cost, which gives us a gross profit of $42.5 million. Then we deduct indirect operating costs to reach an operating profit of $10,450,000. And below that, we subtract the indirect non-operating costs, interest and tax, which leaves Tumble with a net profit of $9,650,000 on the bottom line. Shout out to all of my channel members for your support. 
In the next videos, I'll show you how to make a balance sheet and a cash flow statement in the same way. I'll see you then.